one of the things you start doing is you can start putting your marks in so for example I'm going to take my proportional divider measure from the bottom of the square here in the corner to the top of where the uh, black of that eye is I'll go like this I'll come over here like so and I'll put a mark and as you can see there was a little mark right there and that's where the top of the eye is and then I'll come over here I want the distance to the very top here of the eye to the top of that square and again here and you can see it's spot on and then from here I look at it and I says okay um, I can eyeball this which I did I eyeball this then I come over here and I'll check this just to see how I did come over here and you can see I have that spot on so I want the proportions to be exact and I went through the whole eye and did that you can see that what I did here is I drew in the detail just representing the dark areas that are here and I can actually go like this with my pencil and shade it in just a little bit to remind me that's a dark area I could do this around the whole eye if I wanted to though I'm not going to spend any time doing that and you can start putting in details that way because you know you're going to go dark so all that's going to disappear anyway um, what I wouldn't do though however is if you know you're going to go charcoal which I am going to go charcoal just for this dark area here leave off the graphite even what I'm doing here uh, as that will just make it a little more difficult to apply as things slide off the graphite you can see you see this white area um, right here and you can see that I've put the zone it's kind of like a zone and uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, I, I'm marking the areas that I'm going to leave bright I look at the negative space here which is this shape here I see how far off the top it is and how it goes and I see that it's right there I feel good about it and so then I went ahead and put the pupil little tiny pupil in there right there and uh, there's see that little mark see I even put the little mark that I saw in there and then over here see the little white area kind of some glowy thing I even marked that in there so those kind of details are nice to have because they'll remind you as you're in here not to monkey around with that area because you want to keep it as white as possible this paper is kind of got a slight yellow to it um, or kind of a cream cream color so uh, it's not going to be as bright as I would normally have it but this here isn't even that bright anyway and I can see in the actual photo that it's actually more of a light a light gray so that's not going to be an issue uh, that being a cream color again you can see that I've the white area markings here you can see the shape of the white area marking here and you can see the shape that I did here I mimic everything that I see okay so now that I've done the eyes the other thing that I want to focus on is the nose area because this stuff here I'm not going to be able to really do much of I could go in with these little details here which I will come back later and do the dark little details but something like this I'm just gonna to have to do this on the fly I studied it and studied it and I says you know there's no way I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there and draw every little tiny dot in here because then my layout pencil becomes the the medium that I end up using to draw it and I don't want to do it that way I want to use darker B pencils and I want to use um, if necessary some charcoal there for the dark the real dark areas so let's do the nose we're all gonna do the nose here together and to start with I need to go and count one two three four across and then one two three four five six so four down to six so on my paper I'm gonna go one two three four and then one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six double checked everything's good and fine there okay one two three four five six get it started right in there 
Now I, I'm going to eyeball this to start off with and then I'm going to check with my proportional divider but it looks to be like somewhere in the I'll make sure I don't lose my spot here. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, mid square, so about right there. Put a little dot right there. Then it seems to come out to about right there. I'm going to put a little dot there with a slight incline. Then I come over here and I see that it declines to about right there. I'm going to put a little dot right there. Then it drops off to about right here. And then it goes back to the mid, looks like the mid square about right there. So if I was to draw this in now, it would be something like, like this, then this. Then it looks like it kind of goes here, round houses there and comes down to there like so okay now what I want to do and I'm looking at this and I'm saying okay this looks good but I need to verify this I want to make sure that it is correct so I'm going to take my proportional divider and I'm going to see if I have to make any adjustments here <clears throat> Okay, so that measures about like that. I come over here and I am just off a smidgen. Try to see again, yep, and then come back here. I'm off a smidgen, so I'm going to make that adjustment. First, I'm going to mark it, and it's just right there. Then, what I want to do is I'm going to get the the height here I want it perfect so I'm gonna get it right there and okay that looks about right then I'm gonna come over here and yep it's about a smidgen there too of course one's a smidgen the other's a smidgen then how much does it come down to that line there? About right there. And if I measure that here, a smidgen. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to take my eraser here, my kneaded eraser. Rest my hand on that. And then I'm going to take my pencil now and I'm going to adjust that line to there. Looks like it curves over to there. All right. And of course, I know that this is going to have to be higher now. So let me get this out. And it goes that's going to go down about that much and then let's see we'll get this right on and see what how far off I was takes a bit of time sometimes just to adjust this proportional divider and we'll put that on here and yeah looks like I'm a smidge there too everywhere I was a smidge okay smidge is a Rick's can do it measurement smidge all right there we go all right so I was consistent the whole shape was correct but I was off a fraction of a fraction but there I go okay so I have that little baby there now I'm gonna make sure that that little hump I have is in the right location 
before I start getting carried away and moving on here. So I'm going to say, okay, the hump looks like it's right there. There's to the side of the square is right there. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say that was pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good. It's about right there. So, yep, I like it. Okay, so that's a good, that's a good. All right, so we got that part of the nose done. Now, right off here, I could see, I could quickly just go ahead and add this part in, and then I'll measure it again. So this came down to about right here, to here. Look at the negative space. Get that shape in your mind there. Just, just estimate it the best you can. Train your eyes comes out about that much that looks like about right and then this part here kind of only went in a little bit not that much just a little bit and kind of went up to let's see how high about that high that's probably too far out get it in here a little bit more and how far apart is it here to here okay so I'm about as high up as I probably should go and I would say it's about that wide. Yeah, that looks about right. That wide. And it comes up to here and then down to, say, right there. All right, so then I'm going to now, um, let's see, I'm going to cross that square there on the corner. Okay, little tiny um, triangle in there. All right, so now let me just go ahead and do some measuring here just to make sure. Before I get too carried away, use the short side of my divisional, my proportional divider. And I'd say that's about right there. And so smidgy. The Ricks can do it smidgy. There we go. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to smidge it just a little bit. Just right about to there. Okay. And let's see. You got that in there like so. And I got that in there like so. Okay. And then here, how far from the top? About the same width. And I can go a little bit. It's so small, it's probably you know negligible, but let's just go for perfection, shall we? All right. And all this here is, I mean, you can eyeball this because it's just so small. But I'll just do that, and I'll just do that. Yep. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, thanks, Bill. All right, and let's see. So, next, easy peasy parcheesy. The next square down is, let's see, can you see that in the, yes, you can. Okay, so the next square down is here. So, I'm going to look at this dark shape here just to kind of make it easy for me is I look at the shape, and it looks like it starts from here. So I'll put a little mark here, and it goes to here, which is already started, and it seems to angle down like this. So I'll sit here and I'll lightly go like this. I do this a lot. And then when I feel, yeah, that looks about right, I will commit. I will commit. There we go. All right. And then I could see that that comes down to right here. So I will go ahead and extend it further. And then this one here, I'm going to where the, now they don't have lips, right? Tigers don't have lips. So I don't know what this is. I'm saying, no, tiger lips. That sounds funny, tiger lips. All right. So let's see, would that be about right there? Uh, yep. 
Yeah, this is an accuracy. Yes, it is. Accuracy divider. Says right there, accuracy. Uh, okay. And then I come over here and I'm going to put a little mark. See, did I get that right? Yeah, right there. All right, so that little mark's going to help me just kind of guesstimate where I need to go. Right there. And then this is going to come up like so about like that all right yep um, should be like that okay good now the next part is that I'm going to now measure the other side of this nose here now you notice that when I started this I had to count one two three four and then one two three four five six one two three four five six. and then from there I I can just keep going from one square to another without having to do all that counting anymore so that's nice because you know it can get a little bit tedious if you had to keep counting all the time I know some people like to put a b c d and one two three I don't like to do it I it's just more things I'd have to erase. Okay, so right here is going to be the width of the schnaut, the schnauzer. All right, so that's should be the width on that line. And if I measure on that line itself, though unnecessary, but if I do it anyway. Uh, it's close okay so there it is right there so this kind of angles a little bit so I'm going to angle a little bit just like that see it's about that far up right and right there right then I can go up here okay now it's going to start branching out this way and what I'm going to do here first off is I'm going to see where it intersects up here by the corner which looks like about right there I'm going to put my little mark there so I need to connect this to here but I want to get the right uh, curve so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the mid spot here just as a crutch and I'm going to find that distance I'm going to go right in the middle of the square here and I'm going to put a little dot there and then I'm going to do that again in the one quarter spot it's one quarter of the square did that move? I think that might have moved Sweet. okay so one quarter square I'll do that again right here okay so you can see it's kind of giving me a guide and then I'm going to kind of again do what I did before and that is just kind of get my fill for it here and then start getting it in and there you go alright and that's it and then I'm going to cross this corner here that's easy I could see that and if I want to make sure I went far enough I did okay now
Okay, so eyes, and now we have the nose. I'm going to switch over now to the chit chat camera and um, we'll have a little chit and a chat and any questions and so forth so on. There you go, but take a look. So far, uh, that's my sketch in progress.